Guys, what are we doing today? Ah, hi. Hi. <laughs> We're going to Alaska. Yes. Or getting on the ship going to Alaska. Boat, boat, boat. Yep. Ship. We are at uh, Hilton Garden, right across from the Seattle airport. We flew in last night. And this morning we are getting on the bliss to go to Alaska on Norwegian. You got me feeling like fireballs High in the sky Looking like a fun storm oh, Here we go, 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 go No easy to remember So hard to forget And the baby is a cow with a strut Alright, we are at the port Baggage drop was like, I think the easiest we've ever had. Right yep. It's like not super crowded in, in the area yet. Now we got to kind of go find our way to check in and all that. Well, I guess we have, we're waiting for the rest of our family first. That's what we gotta do first. Then we'll get on board. All right, we're at the port. This port's so cool, it's like so open. You can walk like almost right up to the ship. But you can see the Bliss sitting here behind us, getting all loaded up for a cruise. We're doing, um, what's it, eight day Alaska? Uh, seven. Seven night. Oh. But we're going to Sitka, Juneau, uh, Ketchikan. Twice the street. The icy straight in Victoria. Yeah, we have a sea day tomorrow, and Victoria Day is basically a sea day because we don't get in until 8 like 8 p.m. Yeah, it's like 8 p.m. to midnight, um, and that stops just because of laws. Yep, you have to go to one foreign port on a closed loop port or a closed loop cruise. But yeah, this is a super cool port. Uh, dropping our bags off was super easy. And we didn't get to like do anything in Seattle because we were in Disneyland yesterday. We flew up here in the evening and we just stayed by the hotel. And then we did an Uber here. It was like what, 35, 40 minutes? From hotel to here? Yeah. Was it even? Maybe 30 minutes? Yeah. Yeah, now we're just waiting for the rest of our family and then we will get on board. Little crab in the water, right there. See him moving around. You can see just a little bit of the space needle in the port here. Starbucks over there. We're gonna go find some food. Let's see, chandelier up here. All right, we are at the sit-down restaurant. I think we're in. Are we in Taste or Savor? It doesn't matter. It's the same. We're gonna get some food. So you can see Mount Rainier out there in the background. Looks so cool. And we have just this awesome view of the, I'm gonna call it, the port area. We've got parasailers and ferries. And then looking north, we have all these beautiful mountains. Should be a really cool sail away. I'm up on, what am I on? 15, 16, 17, I think? This is laser tag here, obviously. Seeing kind of what you can go 
come up here and see as well. I got some like benches and stuff. Get a full view over the deck here. I'm on the front of the observation deck, which I'll show y'all later when there's not a ton of people. But you can see the bow of the ship there. It's a, one of the waterfront hotels you can stay at and just walk right over to the ship. It's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. Checking out our room. It's uh, 8114. It's one of the mini suites, which is basically just a bow, uh, regular room. Uh, but we do have an extended bow. Extended veranda. I'm trying to combine those words here. So I'll come back to that. You can see here we have queen size bed. And then the sitting area here. And then, on this side, TV, looks like down here we've got shelf storage, shelf, this is going to be our fridge, yep, this should probably, yeah, it's got mini, or mini bar features, and we have closets, it's kind of interesting, closets on the side rather than like when you enter. Looks like you get a chair dash. Oh no, it's like a chair table. I gotcha. I get a welcome back letter. This is our second sailing with Norwegian. And our shore excursion tickets are already in here. And we'll go check out the bathroom. I believe the bathroom is like one of the biggest differences between the standard room because we get a double sink here this is actually pretty nice and then we have like a full walk-in shower so yeah bathroom's definitely nice we chill in it yeah. bed area and then we got the verandas going on here. So we have a like full table section and chairs back here. Then you get two loungers and another little table. So a really, really nice veranda size. Let's see Mount Rainier back there. Just a whole a whole look. There. And yeah, so you can see, showing we're on deck eight. Uh, and with the extended veranda, you can kind of see down into it. Also, it's like raining. You're kind of at a loss, but still super cool. Hopefully, we get some nice days and we can sit out here as we're going through the passages. All right, we are moving. making our way out of Seattle. All right, just got Starbucks. And we're gonna go have dinner at Taste. And then I think just spend the evening exploring the ship. Uh, rock sail away from the and we are hungry. That's fun.
I read, or I watched a video, and they said that this chandelier, like, at all times through your cruise, will always be different, like, every time you go by it. Yeah. So the wind outside now is like insane. We had to go and pull all of our stuff in because it was literally like blowing around. Yeah. I can see how like, a balcony might have gotten damaged. damaged. Yeah. yeah. So we were supposed to be this room next to us. That's the room we booked. And they like randomly moved us without explanation and we they moved us actually to a different part of the ship, but our whole family is like in here. But they were like, oh yeah, the balcony's damaged. And I guess that would explain how that would happen. All right, we are back in the room, not for the night. There we go, <laughs> just focus. But we're just kind of getting settled after dinner. Mm -hmm. But we ate dinner in taste. I thought it was all right. It was all right, slow service. Yeah, we had a group of 10 though, so. Yes. And no. So it takes time to get everyone's meal ready around the same time. And we didn't like, we were all very much enjoying each other's company. So like it, you know, didn't bother us too much. But I think we all met outside the restaurant at 5.30 and now it's eight. Yeah. Kind of gives you an idea of how long we were in there, but it was fun. We had a fun group. <laughs> yeah. I had done the crab wontons and the shrimp cake for my appetizers. Uh, the wontons were, they were good, but they were just like fine. The shrimp cake was, I think, probably the best thing of my meal. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't get an appetizer, but I did, I had a bite of your shrimp cake and your crab wontons, and I agree with that. And then I also had a bite of um, your, your sister's fruit and cheese plate. And it was a very good fruit and cheese plate. Like, I, if they have that on the menu again, I think I might get that. So that was good. And then we both got the same thing for our entree. Yeah, we both did the, like, spare rib barbecue. I thought, again, that was okay. Yeah. I was kind of, had, like, some real dry parts on it. Yeah, and mine was very, like, um, had lots of, like, little bits of gristle and bone. I think I got, like, a She end. got the end piece. Yeah. Um, the actual, like you know, meat Center portion parts. was was okay. Yeah. It was definitely passable. Nothing like really complaint, but no like stand out. It was good. I will say I was not disappointed in the dessert, which yes. I was expecting to be. Desserts were decent. I got the strawberry shortcake. Mm hmm But you thought it was passable. Yep, and it was large. It was a big portion, yeah. yeah. And I got the chocolate caramel tart. So like basically like a little tiny chocolate caramel pie. I'm extremely rich. I probably ate like two more bites than I should have, but it was actually pretty good. Yeah, but now we're going to go just kind of explore for mm -hmm. the evening. I know you guys want to do karaoke. I don't know if I'll do karaoke, but I will definitely be there watch and karaoke. watch karaoke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's kind of just an explore the ship tonight type yep, of there's thing. There's lots of live music. All yes, over the there's place. live music that starts like every like 20 or 30 minutes. Yeah, like I was kind of, I, this may be what we go look at. The cavern has rock and roll starting at 8, so that might be. Might be fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's the plan. It's just like crazy loud. It's not even morning anymore. It is. Thank you. Yep. It is actually the afternoon. Uh, we woke up, we did 
breakfast in the buffet garden grill. Um, and then we hung out in the observation lounge all morning. Just kind of watching the sea go by. It's our sea day. Uh, not too much out there to look at. We did see a princess cruise ship go by. All right, we are in our room. It is actually the evening on our second day, which has been a sea day. Uh, we had a very chill day today. Yes. We really didn't do a whole lot. Sat up in the observation lounge, which is where we're about to go again. So we can go and uh, show you that a little bit. Uh, it's been pretty full every time we've been up there though. A lot of people just up there chilling. They do like food and stuff up there. Yeah, it's really, really nice. And obviously this ship I think was like planned with this in mind. But today, like while we were sailing, it was extremely windy and fairly cold outside. So I think a lot of people who on another ship, you'd be out by the pool. Instead, they're hanging At the out lounge. in the lounge, um, which is really nice. It's very large and they have food and they have coffee and water and juice and all that stuff. And a bar. <laughs> yeah. Overall, it's been pretty good. It is extremely windy still. I showed you that yesterday. So we haven't been able to go out on our balcony at all. Uh, hopefully the rest of the trip, once we get up there and we get into the passage, uh, the weather will be a little bit more mild. But yeah, so today we, um, you know, slept in a little bit. We got breakfast at the buffet, which was hectic. Yep. You know, and nothing special food wise right home about, but just, you know, food on your stomach is good. <laughs> then we did the lounge. Then we did a little exploring, looked in the shops. Yep. Nothing really special. It's not like, um, kind of like the Disney gift shops, I feel like. Yeah, it's more of just trying to sell you things rather than like merchandise. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then uh, we took a little nap break, which was nice. <laughs> yeah, like I said, lots of lots of relaxing and hanging out on our sea day. We're gonna have a lot of go 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 days here for coming the rest up. Of them. Yeah, so it was a good day. And then we went to the casino for a little bit while we waited for dinner time. We had dinner at the Manhattan Room tonight, which was yeah. really nice. Yeah, it's definitely nicer. Manhattan, Savor, and Taste are the three included. Uh, Savor and Taste are the exact same restaurants. One's on the left and one's on the right of the ship. Manhattan is just a little bit of a nicer restaurant. Um, they don't require any specific like diningware or any of that, but it is a nicer room. Yeah. Um, I will say we thought that every experience we've had with any main dining room has been slow. Yeah. Very slow. There's only one server. It's not like a serving team and they're doing multiple tables as well. So they're trying to do your drinks and your food. So most of our meals, well, we didn't even get to do dessert today. I think we could have had time, but... It would have been close. Yeah, because after dinner we had six yes. um, in their big theater, which was so good. <laughs> probably, I think probably the highlight so far yeah, of definitely. the ship experience. Yeah, did not disappoint whatsoever. Yeah, that was awesome. I knew like nothing about it. Good. I thought it was good. I knew some about it, but not everything. I tried to actually like was like really trying to not spoil not it. spoil it. So I was like 
trying to not listen to the songs as much as I could, you know, as they came up in my life, and it worked. It was good. Yeah, that was that was awesome. Very enjoyable. Yeah, like I said, we're gonna go and hang out. Uh, so far, I do really like the ship. Super easy to navigate. Very easy to get around. It is definitely. It feels full. Yeah. They've very said cool. it's you know pretty much full capacity, uh, and it does feel like that. Events and stuff are like packed to the brim with people. Even like, like I didn't think there would be that many people at karaoke, and it was like standing room only type of situation. Yeah. And it's not a huge room that they had did. They did it in. That was last night. Yeah, but that I'm glad though because things like karaoke and then like the dance party we went to after, like things like that, are are more fun when there's more people. More people, yeah. So, um, karaoke was a blast. Yeah, and they uh, well we all went into the club last night. It was like extremely loud though. That's why me and my brother left. Yeah, it didn't feel that loud to us, but we were dancing and stuff. No, so. it was so loud. If you loud. were just sitting trying to, like, do something other than dance, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so, like I said, we're going to go. It is 8.40 now. The sun is still up. Uh, sunset's not till, like, I 10 think 10. Yeah. So like we're going to go up, try to watch the sunset. And, and we get an extra hour of sleep tonight. Yes, we do. We do hit a uh, time change. But yeah, and then tomorrow we're in Sitka. Mm -hmm. We have a tour booked. Uh, we do about three hours on like a catamaran, kind of going through, I guess, different like channels and stuff there. And then after that, the next two hours, we see the raptor exhibit or the raptor sanctuary and the fortress of the bears. So hopefully, it should all be cool and fun. We watched the sunset from the observation lounge, which was just super chill and relaxing. Super crazy because like the sun goes down, but it doesn't actually get dark. Um, I was up until I don't know, maybe like 11, 11:30, and it was still there was still light coming in through the room. Um, but if you shut the curtains, it's totally fine. But we are actually pulling into Sitka. You can kind of see it behind me here. Let's see if I can get it to blur me out. There you go. But that is going to be the start of our next video. So if you want to see the cool excursion that we do, make sure to uh, like, subscribe, follow, all that fun youtube -y stuff. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.